Hey guys, welcome back to Sim UK. It is now Monday, January 15th, 2018. Time to go to work. i5 6400, ram, ram, ram. Let's get the ram out of the way first. Still no audio for the outside, for the, uh, for the spray can it seems. I think the outside is probably clean now. pretty disgusting in here isn't it just like to clarify it is not this easy to clean the inside of a PC ca uh, case <laughs> it does not get clean this easily or this quickly it is a long boring horrible process it really is <laughs> Whoa, come on, controls. What are you doing? Right, okay, good stuff. Um, ah. Upgrade to 4 gig of RAM. What has he got in there? Ah, single 2 gig. Okay, install memory. 2 gig. Now it's not as good as the RAM he's got. What RAM has he got? Let's have a quick look. A Xi'an Titan 2 gigahertz. But again, it's DDR4, 21, 2133 megahertz. That's exactly the same, exactly the same as the Mortoni Value Supreme. So there's there's very little benefit to it, I'd say. Very little difference between the two. Right. Let's put the case back on. Do it up. Now, it's saying, actually, that we haven't cleaned out all the dust. Which is interesting. Because I don't see any dust. Oh, there we go. There must have been a tiny bit in there that I just couldn't see. All done. All fixed. Oh. Ah, damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. I was distracting myself slightly by thinking I've got to get a second desk. I think as soon as we got the money for it, I think we're just going to do it. Because we're, we're at level 3, so it's just a financial thing. In fact, we've probably got enough money now, actually. Let's go have a look. I mean, it's going to leave us desperately close to having no money. But, you know, maybe it's worth it. Tools. Auto connect. That was good. Quick screw tool. $2,000 for that. Oh, my lord. That is expensive. Well, this could be quite useful at $600. Compare the relative performance of CPUs and graphics cards. That could have been very handy. Yes, indeed. Hmm, that could well be money well spent there. But I desperately want a second desk. How do we get a second desk? That's the question here. Well, that's interesting. I, I thought I could buy it from the shop. Perhaps I have to buy it here. Yeah, simple as that. That's a shame. I wish you could buy it from the shop. I think that would be better. Right, let's upgrade this one to 8 gig RAM. <coughs> excuse me, 8 gig of RAM. And uh, run the benchmark on this one. What's in there at the moment? Is that a 4 gig stick? That's a 2 gig stick. Ah, luckily. Luckily, I have bought enough. So, the red channel and the red channel need to go together. 
So we'll grab our memory and we'll pop that in there. So we've got two two gigabyte uh, RAM sticks running on the same channel and then on the third and final channel we'll whack in uh, that one put the side back on is it exactly the same I have exactly the same PC case that's weird tools ah oh, where's my USB stick are you kidding me it doesn't need to be installed in there anymore because I've installed the software on this pit on the PC itself so I think that's done okay Jobs are good. Take the USB out. And, uh, yeah, we'll uninstall that. Restart. Pop it in this one. Power on. Restart that machine, shut this one down. Start running 3D Mark, and we can put this one by the door, and that's that done. Perfect. So we can start stripping out the CPU again on this one. I'm sure that CPU will come in handy somewhere down the line. I hope. So it'll be this one. And just hope I've got it right this time. Because we really haven't got any money left, so it kind of needs to be right this time round. Thermal paste. <laughs> An important part of the building process. Or nearly clicked on the monitor. If I click on the monitor, it stops the uh, benchmark from running. So I'm glad I didn't do that. How are we looking over here? So we've got to run. Uh, we've got to run it on here as well, haven't we? So if I take this out of here, that shouldn't cause any issue to anything, and it doesn't. That's good. We'll plonk it in the back of this one. Having said that, I think I may have already installed it, haven't I? Yes, I have. So we'll just run it instead. Right, so they're both running. And this one's finished. That looks good. Yes, job done. Okay, so we'll uninstall it. Shut that down and put it by the door. Two jobs done. Now I've got my piece of paper here with my 3D Mark score on it. I can't click on the monitor yet because it will stop the uh, benchmark from running. I'm looking at the benchmark scores. I can't really see it, but it doesn't look good. <laughs> it really doesn't look good. Fortunately, we got two jobs done over here. So if I get rid of those, perhaps. That might give us at least a little bit of cash. Make the money for that. What's going on? We're minus 500, which means we got 500 in the bank. Uh, we've just added the following parts to our range. A Sheen Force GTX 980 Gaming XL and MSI Radeon R9280 Gaming 3G. How you doing? My gaming rig isn't booting anymore. I don't know what is wrong with it. Can you diagnose what is wrong with it? It seems to power on okay. The fans go round, but it doesn't get any further than the BIOS screen. Can you have a look and fix whatever is wrong with it? Peace out. <laughs> cool. This is a diagnose and fix job. 
Awesome. I like the sound of that. Blake Film Classics. Oh, man, this guy. What is he saying now? Oh, I can't be bothered to read that right now. New parts. We've just added the following parts to our range. AMD Ryzen 5 Quad Core 1500X Sheen GeForce GTX 980 Gamer. Cool. Valued customer, here at Megacorp, we know that life doesn't always run smoothly. Smoothly, So we provide a free overdraft for all our customers. Your free overdraft limit is $1,000. Yes, I know. I think that's just yada yada. So this one's coming in. What's this one? Hey there, did you get my email about the Film Classic Archive? Is it the same guy, Blake? It is. Oh my god. Blake, you're doing my head in. Right. We'll, we'll come back to that, Blake. We'll come back to that later. Right, please be better. Oh my god, it's still worse. Marginally worse, but worse. Holy cow. So now I've got two CPUs that I don't flip in need. Oh, this is bad. This is very, very bad. I haven't got enough money to buy that bit of software. Ah, oh, right. Okay, I'll tell you what. Take the CPU out. We'll leave that sitting there like that. And when have we got to get that done by? The 18th? Oh, crikey. What day is it today? Have a quick look. We've got three days to figure this out. Right, okay. Plus we've got uh, an analysis one coming in tomorrow. Let's read this quick then. Blake Patterberg is proud to present the Film Classics Archive. www.filmclassics.freehosting.co.uk Temporary U URL pending industry sponsorship. Cool. A carefully curated collection of cult films dedicated to protecting and preserving classics like Beebs of the Planet, Baltimore, Wet Heat, Dry Heart, Wet Heat, Dry Heart, good lord, and the Fund Frond Buster series. Founder Blake Patterberg is an industry professional with over five years' experience as an assistant junior moderator at Community Led News and Reviews Authority Movie Maniacs. Thanks to his passion for true cinema and appreciation for the classics, the Film Classics Archive is guaranteed to be around for generations to come. Testimonial, testimonial, test, oh my goodness me. <laughs> Testimonials from leading industry figures. Yes, Blake Parenberg was on our moderation staff, says Movie Maniacs. He's always loved his films, especially those funny foreign ones, says Lucille Patterberg, his history teacher, now retired. Quick payment and no fuss. A++ buyer, says the movie guy, 1988, an experienced media reseller. More testimonials to be arranged. Only Blake Patterberg and the Film Classics Archive have what it takes to preserve cinema cinematic history. Sign up as a supporter today. Right. And then he emails us again. Hey there, did you get my email about the Film Classics the Archive? It's going to great so far. I've already got five users in a heated debate about Captain Cartwright on the forums. I don't know why he's suddenly American, if that is an American accent. Behind the scenes, I've been ripping my entire collection of cult classics to populate the Film Classics Archive, but I'm actually running out of hard drive space again. Could you add some more storage for me? Which just so happens we have a four terabyte drive uh, ready to sell you. Thanks. By the way, I notice you've not signed up as a supporter yet. Your technical services are great and much appreciated. But if you want to sign up as a community backer, you can. No pressure. Do you still have the link? I can send it to you again if you need. It's this one. Yeah, I don't think I can actually navigate on this PC, can I? Upgrade to 8 gig of storage, $440. We'll say yes. So that's worked out rather well, hasn't it? We'll close that down then, and we'll go to the shop, and we'll order another... Whoops. Another four terabytes. Which is $130, plus $30 delivery. What else do we need for our jobs here? I can't remember. Oh, this is diagnose and fix. Okay, so what's, what's the issue here? My gaming rig isn't booting anymore. I don't know what's wrong with it. Can you diagnose what is wrong with it? It seems to power on okay. The fans go round. 
but it doesn't get any further than the BIOS screen. Can you have a look and fix whatever is wrong with it? Peace out. Well, my instincts are telling me it's either the hard drive or the RAM. Um, so, yeah. Hmm, we'll see. We'll see what that is. Okay, well, um, yeah, this hasn't gone well. And we need $600 in order to fix the next problem. So, what I might do is go to the shop, order a really cheap hard drive, $180. We'll buy that now. And that's it for today's episode. I can't believe I bought two CPUs for this thing and both of them are slower. I can't see how you can make a profit on this unless there's one special CPU that is cheaper than the i5 that he started with but costs less somehow. Or maybe eBay was the way to do it. Hmm yeah okay well guys listen join me again next week for another episode of pc building simulator i am still loving this series and we've got our first proper job coming in where we can uh, assess and fix the problem ourselves i don't know why i'm pacing like this is stress and anxiety um but yeah it's going to get way more interesting i think from this point on so thank you so much for watching i hugely appreciate it and uh, look forward to hopefully uh, hearing you speak to me via the comments next week. Until then, take care and goodbye for now.